Today we're building the world's simplest electric generator. Oh, plastic, that's not simple. So we'll do the cardboard version. For this we need wire, enamel coated spools of wire from Radio Shack, or you can find solenoids from surplus junk shops. Get spools of wire out of them. The magnets, large ceramic block magnets. Radio Shack again, or found these at Home Depot. A specialized light bulb, 1.5 volts, 25 milliamps. It's a Radio Shack part. And a nail. And cardboard measure it out and mark it according to the instructions on the website websites listed at the beginning and ending of this video try to get it very square like I grabbed a post-it notepad to get square and try to align it with the lines in the cardboard cut it out I prefer a razor knife, but kids probably should use scissors. The razor knife gives nice flat edges, noth nothing crushed or bent. Crease it along the lines so it folds right there. Fold it so there's a small side on the inside. And you might have to mess around with it because it has to have a, a, a slip fit on the magnet. Make it a little wider there. And to poke the nail hole, let's draw an X to the corners. Oop. Find the exact center. Center. Poke the nail through one side. Oops, there. And now get it exactly vertical, perpendicular that way that way and enlarge the holes a bit you want this thing to easily spin let's test the four magnets Get it somewhat centered. Make sure it spins very freely. To wind two or three hundred turns, I just stick my spool on a pen. Pull off some excess and stick it inside. So we have plenty of lead wire. Tape it off and off we go. Now um, try to make it in two lumps so there's plenty of space for the nail. And of course don't wind it across the hole, it's got to go around the cardboard. Don't wind it too tight because after a few hundred turns the pressure can build up and crush the cardboard. So wind lightly and 300 turns will let you turn the magnet very slowly yet still light the bulb. 200 turns if you're lazy. When done tape it off. Cut to length. Cut off the excess so we have something to work with. Clean off all the red plastic from about an inch of the end of the wires. 
make sure the whole thing is nice coppery color and not red. Tiny light bulb. Radio Shack. 272-1139. Can't use normal light bulbs on this. This is a 1.5 volt 25 milliamp bulb. Let's get some extra wire. Clean the more plastic off. Oh, you can use from mail order a uh, number 20, nope, number um, 48 or 49 bulb. They're the same bulb, just different bases. This is a 48 with a screw base. You'll have to crank your generator much harder to get this one to light. The Radio Shack bulb is better, it's more sensitive. Twiddle the wires solidly together. Lots of twists. Or solder it if you have a soldering iron. Now this one I've put little spacers between the magnets and got it well centered so it spins very nicely in there. I use little plastic spacers, little pieces of cut plexiglass. Now if you want to get fancy, cutting rings of black ABS sewer pipe, plugs the glass, end up with something like this. Much classier version of the generator.